Hi everyone, my name is Silver Willowing and welcome. Today we're going to talk about Grimmel, which is the new antagonist in the third How to Train Your Dragon movie, The Hidden World. So Grimmel is a different kind of enemy as Hiccup describes him. He has some similarities to Drago in the sense that he wants to enslave dragons. He's not fond of dragons. Drago also hated dragons because they had attacked his village when he was younger. Uh, and we don't know the background for Grimmel. We don't know what he had been through before, where he is today. But we know that he has hunted down several dragons, a lot of them, and specifically uh, Night Furies. So his goal is to either destroy, murder all dragons or enslave them, similar to his death grippers. So something tells me that he might have experienced something that made him hate dragons so greatly. What is terrifying about him compared to Drago is that he's so similar to Hiccup in both stature and his approach to solving challenges and threats. He is more relying on his cunningness and his intelligence than his brute strength, which was Drago's, you know, that was what he did. He was a very strong man. Um, and he used his voice and his appearance to kind of threaten dragons and people around him. Where Grimmel seems to be more laid back and more quiet but deadly because he has contraptions. He has crafted arrows where he takes the venom from the death gripper's tail, the stinger, so he can create tranquilizing arrows that will train everything they hit. And that's what we see in the trailer when he shoots a rumble horn down. Uh, the rumble horn falls just immediately because these arrows are filled with the uh, tranquilized venom of the death gripper. And now that we're talking about this scene, this scene is quite disturbing to me because Grimmel is clearly inside some sort of closed cage and he's shooting down a rumble horn. But in the background we see two death grippers and these seem young because they are slightly smaller and their tusks are not as long as the adult ones that we have seen. So I am wondering if in this scene he is feeding a rumble horn to the baby death grippers to kind of give them a taste for dragon flesh. I don't know. It seems like it because they're young. So maybe an entire rumble horn is too much for them to take on. So if he tranquilizes it, maybe it's completely knocked out or it's slightly awake, but not really strong enough. And then the small death grippers can go and eat it and take it apart. So they get a taste for other dragons. And that's creepy as, you know, as Helheim. It's creepy and scary. But that looks like what's going on because the small ones are kind of waiting and they're looking and then they're coming closer like, yeah, let's eat it, let's tear it apart. It could be that Grimmel is training dragons to do this because he definitely trained the death grippers to trust him and to do his bidding. And it's been confirmed that he has six of them so far. He might have more. I'm not sure about that, but he might have more. Uh, and he's trained these dragons in possibly horrible ways. So it's quite likely that this is what's going on. So we don't know much about his backstory, like I said before. We know only he hates dragons. He's extremely smart. He has an armada and he won. He's gonna win in the third film and Hiccup and the gang is gonna have to reclaim everything. Similar to what Drago did in the second movie. He kind of won as well, but then they reclaimed it. Uh, so it's kind of a similar pattern. Uh, but in different ways, because Grimmel is going to be much, much um, different from Drago, because he's going to be much smarter. It's going to be more scary because he's such a parallel to Hiccup. They seem very similar, except that Grimmel uses his intellect for other things, for what people consider evil, uh, and Hiccup uses it for good, if we're down to that. But like Hiccup uses it to create, and Grimmel uses it to destroy capture and enslave and whatnot and he definitely wants to kill Toothless because he has some sort of grudge on Night Furies it seems it would be kind of interesting if we could see some kind of flashback where Night Fury did something to him or something to his family or whatnot and that's why he hate that particular dragon um, that would be quite exciting to see actually so Grimmel is the reason behind the Night Furies not being around it seems that he alone is responsible for hunting them down close to extinction and Toothless is the last one. Most likely the last one. The last one known in existence. And that takes some skill. 
So that definitely gives an, an idea that Grimmel is an insanely talented and skilled dragon hunter and is not to be trifled with. It's definitely a, a kind of guy that you should be aware of when you're dealing with him because he is ferocious and extremely intelligent from what we have seen at least. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how it all plays out. How is Hiccup gonna deal with this because they're so similar. It's like fighting yourself and I can imagine that's really really hard. I'm not saying they're clones of each other but they fight in a lot of similar way. Grimmel is using this harpoon thing that he's sitting on which looks a lot similar to Hiccup's uh, bola launcher from the first movie. It looks very similar and that's just wow that's it's so unreal because that would be so challenging because Hiccup is such an intelligent person. Imagine having to fight Hiccup with his intelligence and everything he has crafted. That would be extremely challenging. So we can only imagine it will be equally challenging to deal with Grimmel. So until more information gets out, this is all we have to you know ponder about and wonder what she's gonna be like. Exactly how is this gonna play out? I think it's really, really, it's a good approach for them to try something different. Because he is new in certain ways. He is different in his own ways. Because we have seen that the, the Red Death was very brute and, you know, it's a big dragon. Stoic was somewhat the enemy of the first film as well. And he was also a very big, strong and a big brute. And Drago was also the same, the exact the same. But then here in the third movie, we're dealing with something different. We're dealing with a different kind of person and a different kind of stature and a different kind of approach. He still has an armada. He still hunts dragons. Some things are similar. But him in himself is unique, something we haven't really seen in the films before. And I think that's a nice approach for them to go. And I think there's going to be some real stakes uh, in this film. The tooth is going to get captured, the life tree is going to get captured. I'm not sure if, if any are going to get killed. It could be. Um, the last book in the How to Train Your Dragon franchise was quite sad. Certain characters died. I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, so, I don't think anyone is really safe in this third film, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It kind of adds risk to all of it. So, it could be amazing if Grimble is actually um, gonna be the most badass villain we've seen so far. He's also older. He seems very old, at least in his 50s. And that just makes it even more scary, because he's an old man, but he's a freaking maniac! He's a killer, he is immensely intelligent and a huge challenge so i think that's all i'm gonna say for it now because we don't really have much more content i have my, shared my thoughts on him and that's all i can do right now we only have a slight idea of who he is but we we know more than we did at the beginning the second trailer helped a lot with understanding death grippers as well and i'm i'm really looking forward to seeing Grimble in action because i think it's going to be pretty interesting so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it feel free to check out my other how to train dragon the hidden world videos i have a few and consider subscribing if you enjoy these types of videos and hopefully i'll see you in the next one so long dragon riders